Hi everybody, this is a video of the 500 watt self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb. As you can see here, it says 500 watt, yep that's right, and on here it says mercury blended lamp, self ballasted, mixed light, no ballast required, fluorescent coated, can replace normal lamp for energy saving. Yep that's right, and on here it says BML uh, 220 volts E40 that stands for Edison 40 yep that's right and this is uh, the bulb I got from eBay and it came today yep that's right so I'm gonna get it out of its box and you'll see in one second or two everybody so um, oh god you're gonna have to All right got it out now so I'm gonna take this little cardinal ring off so so anyway <laughs> so Right, there's its big carton, so, so, <clears throat> so, here I have the, the self-ballasted mercury vapour light bulb, yep, here we go, and as you can see, it's got a little dint hole in the middle of it, yep, that's right, and this is the big sister, and it's got Edison 40 screw cap, yep, that's right, and it's got a little hole in the middle of it, and that's usually to hold the, the, the poles tightly, the soldering poles that's holding on to the mercury out tube and the filament yep that's right and it's Edison 40 can you see the filament yeah you can vaguely see it so um, anyway I'm going to uh, stick it into the socket now so All right, it's taking its time to go down so right it's taking its time to go down now Right, that's it now. It's fitted in tightly. It's fitted in like so. So anyway, I'm going to pick up the switch. So it's on at the socket now. So right, guys, I'm going to turn off this uh, this lamp now. So right, that's it now. The lamp's gone out now, everybody. So onto the self, onto the self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb, everybody. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow! Ooh, that is very, very bright. Yep, it is. It's 500 watts bright. And it has lit my room really, really bright. Yep, that's right. And as you can see, it starts with the incandescent filament. Yep, that's right. And I don't know how long it will take to change to mercury, but it does start with the incandescent filament. Yep, that's right. Let's just move the car up oh, the cart and to one side so as you can see now it's lit my room 500 watts bright yep and it's as bright as the sun and let's take a good look into it shall we and as you can see oh yep it starts with the incandescent filament let's bend right over and see um oh yeah you can see the filament pretty well and that little circle in the middle of it, middle of it and that's a dint hole yep that's right oh god it feels nice and warm yep and it has lit my um uh uh, breakfast tea table extremely bright and as you can see I've got my TV magazines and there's all my fruit and everything and as you can see now it's a uh, it's a uh, brightness I don't know if it's a uh, at a uh, mercury just yet but I'm gonna look all around all around my room and as you can see now it's uh, it's lit my room really really bright yep that's right so and as you can see it's um it's a it's a full brightness, like I said. I don't know what else to say. But anyway, it's at full brightness, and uh, looks like it might be starting to change to mercury any minute now. So, does it have anything else to say on its box? Does it? I don't think it does. But so now that's just it, really. That's its box and everything. But so. As you can see now, looks like it's starting to change to mercury. Yeah, and it'll be bright mercury. This is the big sister. Yep, that's right. That's why I call it the big sister. And that's the second one out of the family of this uh, carton. Yep, that's right. So let's take a good look into it now. Is it is it changing to mercury? Oh, yes, it is now. It's like a going like a minty green colour. Yep, that's right. I think this one takes about two minutes to change to mercury. Yep, and I can't look directly at it because it's too bright. As you as you can see now, oh, yeah, as you can see, you can still see the incandescent filament. 
It looks like the filament's right at the bottom, like the 250 watt one. But the 160 watt one out of this family is in the middle. Yeah. And uh, as you can see now, it looks like it's fully changed to mercury. Yeah. So, and uh, see all the lines running across. That's usually when the bulbs change to mercury. But when it's an incandescent, it's you don't get lines running across it. So, as you, I see I can see it from my eyes now if I, if I glimpse. But it's as bright as the sun. Yeah. God, that's as big. And it's just like the, the bulbs at this soft play centre. And they, I think they were as big as that, the one at this soft play centre. Yeah. In, and that was in Sheffield. And as you can see now, it looks like from my eyes, you can see a bit of heat rising from the bulb. Yeah. And uh, I bet all these ones at that soft play centre that was um, coming off Bramall Lane, and they all had, they, I suggest they all had about 500 watts. Because they did like the the soft the kiddies play area ever so bright, and that was the first place I, I ever spotted them. And they did come on like normal incandescent light bulbs, like this one does. And I'm, and I'm, this one definitely does have five hundred watts. And as you can see now, it has fully changed to mercury. Let's take another good look into it. Yep. Can you see on the bottom? Let's sit myself a bit closer. Can you see at the bottom? No, you can't. It's too short, and the bulb's way too bright. That's why you can't see right into it, so. <laughs> so, well anyway, I'm gonna turn off this light bulb now, so. Wow, it's phasing away very slowly. That, that's because it's got 500 watts. So I'm gonna switch it back on, so. Oh, as you can see now, the bit of the mercury, oh, bit of mercury gas has shown a very blue color and it's fully, oh, it's disappeared now, so. The bulb's fully gone to sleep. That's what it does. And that is the real, that is the biggest mercury light bulb I've got. And that's the very first one ever. Yep, that's right. And it's the highest wattage. And this one will get really hotter. So all there is now, it's just a big blackout. But don't worry, the bulb will restrike back up. I don't know how long it will take to fully stop off. But I will let you know when, as soon as it's fully come back on. So anyway, so all I'm going to do now is going to sit and wait, wait till it fully flares back up. I know I can hear it's just the rain outside. Well, it is raining outside, but I won't worry about that. All it is, it's just fully stopped off. Don't worry, so I keep the camera at the... Uh, at Pointing directly at the light bulb. It might take about a minute, but it's, I can't really see in the dark with the clock because it's too dark. But I've got the blue LED lights on, but. As you can see now, you can see the bit of the bulb, you can see a little bit of lights from any other bits, but please wait. Hey! Wow, that just fully come back on. Well, that one didn't struggle at all. It's like that 250 watt one. That came straight on without struggling, without starting. It just shot out full brightness. Wow, that was easy. Right, let's take another good look into it now. As you can see, oh god, it is very bright to look at. But from my, but at least I've got the tablet in in the way of my eyes. As you can see now, the filament has fully kicked in again. And that's what it does. The filament looks like that's not in a perfect shape either. No, but as you can see, the um. The the filament is more like I think that's more like a half a C and G shape. Yeah, as you can see now. Oh God, it's feeling it's like it's getting hotter now. But as you can see now, the the incandescent filament's kicked in, but the mer mercury out tube's not fully kicked in just yet. But we'll let you know when it when it's fully when it fully brightens up. But it will warm up. But it warms up anyway because it's got a filament in it because the filament ballasts it. Yep, that's right. And all I can see now is a look up on the ceiling all around, and it's all looking around my room. Oh, yes, that is. 
that lighting up it has lit up really really well yep that's right so and as you can see now it looks like it's starting to change to mercury it looks like I can still see a bit the heat the sizzling bits coming off the bulb you can't really see the heat because the heat is invisible yeah no you can't no but so as you can see all my all my cutlery stuff and all my DVDs and it's lit my lit breakfast tea table yep that's right so and as you can see now it's um it's like it's like it's fully starting to change to mercury is it changing into it just yet is it changing yet uh you can't can't really see it's very hard to see because it's more fully coated in but as you can see now yep the oh it's like a big ring so as you can see now um so it's yep yeah, i think it is now it's changing into mercury oh god i can feel the nice heat i bet this light bulb will keep you nice and warm if you've if your heating broke down that might be a good bulb to use i know it's not like a radiator as you can see now oh you can see it now the the filament it's lit really really bright yep and that's the first time i've ever bought a 500 watt self ballasted mercury bulb but as you can see now it looks like it's fully changed to mercury but with it having a filament you can't really see the mercury out tube flickering on because when you turn it on the filament kicks in and if I get uh, an ordinary mercury bulb when I get a ballast for it you'll be able to see the mercury out tube glowing a very reddish pink glow and that's what it does when it starts up with the self ballasted mercury ones yeah mercury ones don't because they because the filament kicks in it comes in like a goldy colour and I just find that really funny when I was at this soft play area years ago I thought ooh why are they coming on like normal incandescent light bulbs and changing to mercury and they look like they were compatible to your direct main supply which they are yeah and that's the first time I've ever bought a 500 watt one I'd love to get a full collection of those type of bulbs for the future but as you can see now the the mercury art tubes fully uh yep yeah, looks like it's fully flared up now it's changed to pure and simple white yeah and um let's take a look a good look up on the ceiling can you see now all around yeah ah yes yeah you can now so all you can see now the breakfast tea tables lit ever so bright now so Let's take another good look before I end the video. It's a, uh, yep, very minty green colour. Look all around, another good look into it. Yep, it has fully changed to mercury. Yep, that's right. So, so anyway, let's sit back down now. So, right, that's it now. The the five hundred watt bulb's gonna go out now. So, right, that's it now. It's fully gone out. So all I'm gonna do now is turn this big light back on so right that's it now the the uh, the t table lamps back on now so so this is the video of the 500 watt self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb everybody so I hope you all enjoyed this video so please comment rate and subscribe thank you for watching everybody